What up, everybody? How you guys doing today? Today, I'm going to be doing an analysis of Dorney Park's new for 2024 roller coaster, Iron Menace. Alright guys, so this is going to be a new for 2024 B&M Dive roller coaster for Dorney Park. Now, this amusement park has not gotten a new roller coaster, a brand new roller coaster ground up since Hydra in 2005. That is a while, so this is a pretty big deal. This will be the steepest roller coaster at the park, beating out Possessed. Possessed was 90 degrees, aka literally straight down. This will be 95 degrees, so 5 degrees steeper going inside the structure, which is pretty cool for a B&M Dive coaster. It's going to hit a top height of 160 feet. I believe the drop is 152 feet. And then you reach a top speed of 64 miles per hour, which is not bad. This ride is brilliantly placed. It's going to have a great photo op. Cedar Fair always does great with their entrances for their rides. Having the huge sign there and then having one of the elements right behind it. Like example, Fury has the lift hill right behind the entrance sign. So does Banshee. And Copperhead has the loop. So I think this will be really cool to see. It'll be a great photo op. So let's go through this layout real quick. The ride's going to start off with its big lift hill. Um, and then actually go right into the drop. It will have the holding brake, obviously. But it's not going to do that signature turn that most b and dive coasters have. It's just going to go straight into the drop. And drop 152 feet into the first inversion, which is going to be an Immelman which is pretty on par with most B&M dive coasters. Most B&M dive coasters have them right after the drop, so nothing huge there, but that's still pretty cool. Then you're going to go right into a zero-G roll, which is pretty cool also. Then you're going to have a first for a B&M dive coaster. You're going to go through an incline loop, which I'm excited to see how that feels. Yukon Striker recently had a just a regular vertical loop in one, but... This is going to be an incline loop, so it's going to feel something like Green Lantern at Six Flags Road Adventure with that incline loop, which is pretty fun, except that's a stand-up coaster, so that's completely different. Then after that, you're going to go through a corkscrew right into the ride's final turn, which is going to lead you into the brake run. So let me first off say that this will feel like a short ride. There is no way that it won't. It's going to run two trains with seven seats per row and three rows per train, so that is... 42 people that can be on the track at a time which is not that bad and yeah the capacity won't be bad at all i think it'll fit this park perfectly like not too much to where it won't have a line ever but also not too little where the line's gonna be insane overall i think this edition is going to be a great fit for this park i think this is a very good filler attraction they still need that huge ride i mean steel force is trying to be that but it's really not it's only a hyper and it's from i believe before 2000 so it 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 was built a while ago so i don't think it's the signature ride i still think they need to do that they'll think they need like a mock or like something like that i think a mock rides or an rmc would do great here because they have both have ejector airtime but yeah Overall, what do you guys think of Iron Menace? I really want to ride it um, when it opens. I'm going to see. I'm going to try and get out to more parks this year. I just, like I said in my Myrtle Waves vlog, I really have not been feeling coasters this year. But I really am now. I'm starting to get back into it a lot. So, yeah, I should be going to Carowinds on Wednesday. So, I will definitely film a vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. The merch link will be in the description below. Aim high, not low, and never quit. Peace.